जय हिंद स्टूडेंट्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी शेल डिस्कस ब्लू प्रिंट द सिलेबस विच इज कमिंग फॉर द अपकमिंग एग्जाम मीन्स द हाफ एयरली एग्जाम एंड द चैप्टर्स एज सम ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स हुर आस्किंग फॉर द चैप्टर्स नेम वाइज वी शेल डिस्कस दिस एज वेल एंड देन वी शेल स्टार्ट द लिटरेचर पोर्शन दैट वी वर डिस्कसिंग सो लेट एज डिस्कस the blueprint first here you are with the blueprint you can see here that there will be three sections in the exam the first one is writing section unseen passage which will come for 10 marks second is b section in grammar all topics discussed here whatever we have read in grammar will come means tenses number 1 number 2 subject verb agreement number 3 modal voice will not come which is given at the bottom in the note and in literature children moments all topics that we have discussed and beehive all topics that we have discussed children in section b grammar there will be questions for 20 marks in moments there will be questions for 24 marks and in beehive there will be questions for 26 marks and here it is shown that active voice as i was just saying active voice in grammar the lake isle of insfri in literature and the lake and the ishwaran ishwaran the storyteller will not come in exam these are the three things which shall not come in exam next is the blueprint the exam will be for 1 hour and in unseen passage there will be only one marks question there will be 10 questions for one marks and it will carry total 10 marks in grammar children there will be only two marks questions and there will be 10 questions each will carry two marks and it will will be for 20 marks in moments there will be two marks questions only and total 12 questions will be asked for moments each will carry two marks and their total will be 24 beehive uh, two marks questions will be uh, asked only and there will be total 13 questions each will carry two marks and it will be for total 26 in the way total marks is 80 total questions are 45 so all the questions will contain four options the most appropriate option should be selected to answer the question so this is what uh, we are having in syllabus and blueprint now let us discuss the syllabus chapter wise as some of the students were saying sir please uh, discuss the syllabus chapter wise so let us discuss the syllabus chapter wise see here children what will come in unseen passage their unseen passage will be given and uh, objective type questions will be asked in the unseen passage three videos and three pdfs are uploaded here on this side whatever we have uploaded for you is shown okay whatever so far is uploaded in the school application is shown here means number of videos and number of pdfs are shown second will come in writing section diary entry in diary entry there may come questions about uh, means how do we write a diary entry what we do in the diary entry what we do not write in the diary entry such questions objective questions may be asked it would be very easy okay so you should also practice diary entry and go through the rules that i have uploaded in the school application regarding diary entry you must know all the basics of diary entry okay there may be a question from diary entry that do we write signature at the end in the diary entry so you know very well that it may be written it may not be written in both the ways it is correct okay so in option you will have to find the correct thing next is article writing article writing may also come in the exam and the question may be prompted like do we write heading in the article writing so obviously we write heading in the article writing so options may be yes we write no we do not write it is not required it is never written or none of the above in the way the options may be given so you will have to find out 
what will be the suitable option for article writing okay next is children here story writing okay so here in story writing there may be uh, questions regarding um, what sort of tenses do we use do we use present tense past tense future tense so obviously we can use any tense in story writing so it is a matter of common sense that if you are narrating story in the story there can be any tense okay so a very simple questions will be asked there in the writing section unseen passage and uh, these these uh, writing section story writing article writing and diary entry so you should never never bother about these things what sort of questions will come in examination whatever will come would be quite appealing to answer means quite easy to answer because that will be based on the classes you have attended and there everything is described means uh, uh, what are its function what are its usage and uh, the examples are also given you would have also written the formats in the notebooks so next is children the ten the topics which are coming from grammar is tenses number 1 number 2 models number 3 subject verb agreement voice is not coming that is why it is highlighted in red color and parts of speech is also not coming it was something in addition i gave you in the classes in literature and and these are the number of videos which i have uh, uploaded there in the school application in literature children those who are <clears throat> troubled with the number of uh, name of the chapters please be careful about this the fun they had is coming the sound of music part 1 and 2 is coming the little girl is coming a truly beautiful mind is coming my childhood is coming and the road not taken is coming wind rain on the roof all these things are coming the lake isle of insfri will not come in the examination a legend of northland will come the lost child the adventures of toto these things will come ishwaran the storyteller will not come in exam and in the in the kingdom of fools the happy prince these things will come and revision classes are going on you can go through these things children now let me show you the questions and uh, answers that i have brought to you for today's class the mcqs so these are the questions children here you can go through the questions let us not waste our time and do the questions directly the questions are before you but before you solve these questions i would like to tell you that uh, in the previous class question number 24 28 and 20 these questions which were discussed by me were wrong actually the answers given in these uh, questions in the answer key is uh, jawaharlal nehru in 24 and uh, in question number 28 the first answer is correct and 20 the third option is correct children the answer key is also shared with the pdf questions up and uploaded in the school application you can go through the answers so means when we discuss in the class you should never be fixed with what sir has given will be the right answer you should also check on your own means uh, by mistake the things may happen that i may give you some other answer it may happen but i will try uh, to curb it and uh, with all my efforts i will try to uh, not uh, let these things happen again okay but it is also your responsibility that if i have given you answer keys you must go through the questions and match the answers whatever you have solved okay because in discussion class your participation is more important okay now go through the questions who is the poet in the road not taken poem so the correct option is robert frost okay this d next is what does the poem speak about about the plight of roads plight means pain so pain of roads no one cannot uh, speak about pain of roads about the people about the roads about the choices made by people so i think that this d option is correct but children as i was saying that you must check the option 
that I will give you in the answer key. Okay, though I am telling you D option is correct from my mind, but there may be some other options and you should check it. So far, D option, what I think from my description is correct. Next is, what do the roads signify in the poem? The path or choice that was left or was not chosen to trod, trod on means to walk on children. Trod on means to walk on. Next option is the pathway, the pathway on the roadside, a road with two turns. I think the first option is the correct option, this one. Okay. Next is children, fourth. Today we are a bit quick because uh, we have wasted our 10 minutes in discussing the blueprints and the name of the chapters. So we are required to be a bit quick. Okay. Fourth question is, which thing decides the person's future according to this poem the path on uh, or path one chooses to walk the path one leaves behind the regrets the success so what do you think children uh, success can also describe our uh, future but i think that uh, the most important thing is this word so whenever you are going through this word always mind this this word is very important in this poem the path one chooses to walk means as per your choice your future will be okay next question is fifth what is the message of this poem very nice question first option is be wise while choosing and uh, taking decision it is correct two roads are confusing uh, this may also road is not nothing but a pathway this is i think that a option is uh, more most suitable answer here to my mind next is otherwise this may also be b option may also be correct c option but here we are required to choose the most appropriate so fifth option is correct sixth why is the po poet asking to be wise while choosing pathway why you need to be wise because there is no good going back option it is also correct it is correct because it is the only one road no there were two roads because it is one sided road no i think here this is the most easy answer among these options okay next question is children seven for you what does diverge mean okay diverge means bending okay diverging so what does diver diverge mean so to be separated and uh, taking a different turn to be torn you know tear second form of tear is torn when you tear the pages in two pieces so its second form is torn so to be torn no to break <clears throat> no what can be the right option what does diverge mean? To be separated and taking a different turn. So a option can be the most appropriate. Means it is all about turning. Diverging means when you are turning, taking turn. Okay. Bending. So this is A option is correct here. Next is children. What was the poet able to, why was the poet able to travel one road only? Because options are because he had to walk alone. Okay. Because let us see other options. Because he had no vehicle. This was not shown there anywhere in the poem. Because he was one person. I think that here this option is suiting this question. Because he was one person. So one person can walk uh, on one road at a time. Okay. If you are not any ghost. Okay, if you are a ghost, you can walk many roads at a time, but a person can walk one road at a time. So, this C option is appealing. Next is, what does yellow woods mean? Children, you have to be focused because I am a bit quick. Okay. What does yellow woods mean? Yellow means, you know, something that is dying. Okay, yellowish. So, old or 
for these things are used so let us see the options what it is referring to falling leaves yes when leaves uh, turns yellow it falls forest with yellow leaves in the autumn season they were uh, not talking about these option but it can be seen okay wood yellow in color uh, i think that children you will have to check this i am not very much sure about these uh, this question and the option so you will have to see uh, which option will be the most appropriate one here okay mm. so i will not tell you this uh, to my mind if i will be asked to make a guess i will say that uh, what does yellow woods means so woods you know woods means forest woods means forest yellow means something that is getting yellow okay woods yellow in color you can say c option you can say b option c is uh, i think better option wood yellow in color okay next is but you have to see children ninth option you have to see on your own see when we discuss the things and when i tell you the answers does not mean that your work is done it is not any sort of discussion okay the real activity happens when you take the questions on your own before you and check the answers whether it is correct or not and that is the real activity that is the real thing we uh, say for learning purpose okay so if you think that we have attended the classes sir has shown the questions and the questions and the answers are told by sir so it is all no this is not the way to read or to study the real study is when you see the questions on on your own and on your discretion you try to find the answers so if you do this process so there is the real learning okay next question is children what do yellow wood uh, woods represent again the question is repeated here this question was also from this yellow woods so forest with yellow leaves in autumn season this can be option here and here yellow woods represent older people okay i think older people will be the most appropriate answer well i have not seen the answers but i can say that here poets option cannot be correct choice is also not suitable option here people is also so so b option is suitable here older people because yellow is uh, representing that something which is getting uh, which has passed all its life and now its life is over so it can be said that b option is correct here next is children why was the poet looking at the path so the answer is four options are let us see to decide whether it was suitable for him to see how long it was to check the road i think that first option is the most appropriate option because to see how long it was is not any matter to check because he was standing there in the poem if you remember those who have attended the classes or if you have even if you have not attended the classes go through the poem i it is uploaded in the school application you find out uh, the lines and there you will see that it is written that he was standing there on the uh, diverging side and there he was thinking brooding brooding means thinking uh, very much which road he should go through so the first option is correct to decide whether it was suitable for him because he was uh, confused whether he should go to the right side uh, or to the left side okay so first option is correct here next is what does poet poet's long stay uh, poet's long stay uh, to the path signify stare means to look continuously so what does poets long stare to long means here wish to stare the path signify 
say here the time taken by the people so if long means to wish what does the poet wish to stare means when the poet was looking continuously at two different paths so he was wishing to find out the significance of the path he should walk on because whenever you make choice you should you always make first your decision that should i go to the right side if i will go to the right side it will be easy for me if i will be go if i will go to the right side uh, left side I mean there will be rush there will be traffic so you make your decision as per your comfortability and then you make your choice so there when you are making your choice when you are thinking you take some time okay so here the first option is i think let us see other options as well poet loves nature it is not shown in the poem idling away of time it is not shown relaxation out no all these three options are wrong okay so when the questions in examination children uh, are such a <clears throat> that other options are absolutely uh, not suitable means uh, out of the box so there you are quite able to answer the right option so see all the options if you think that other options cannot can never be correct so it makes your answer easy okay so here first option is correct one this the time taken by people poets question is poets long stare long stare means what here why he was uh, long means i told you wish but here it is uh, showing time because this option is given here so we can correlate this option here time and this question earlier i was telling you that long means wish yes long also means uh, has uh, wish one word may have many meanings but uh, when we find the coherence of the word with other words we find the meaning which is suitable to the line okay so you should find the coherence okay means the association ki kaun sa meaning suitable hoga which meaning will be suitable here so here uh, long meaning means wish will not be the meaning here long means uh, the time taken by the person so the poet's long stare means he was looking continuously staring means to look something for long time continuously okay so here the poet was looking at the path for long time so this option is correct here taken by people time taken by people to decide the making and making a choice next is children 12th question here what does grassy mean in the poem so here grassy the road which is not used by anyone the comfortable road the road with all the luxuries well built road so i think that the first option is here the most appropriate as per the poem okay as per the poem the first option is correct okay let us see this is the first option this is correct next is 14 where does the poet find himself so the poet find uh, on the road on the uh, on a bus on a muddy road on a fog here this is on a fog means divergent fog means divergent okay so d option is correct here next is what shows uh, that the road has not been used by many people so definitely if there is no uh, you cannot say footprint there because uh, they are on the way you you can say when there is no mark when there is no impression okay when the grasses are not removed so there it will show that it nobody has walked through it because when you go through the ground or any road so there the impression makes the road the what do you say pagdandi ko kya kehte hain i do not know it is not striking to my mind but you can say that a small passage is seen there that people go through this a small passage is uh, formed okay automatically because of the uh, commutation of vehicles commutation matlab aana jana 
so here the option right option can be children what shows that the road has not been show used by the people the grasses and trampled less grass on it the mud no the broken stone so, so first option is correct when the grass is there it means that people uh, have not used that road because when people use the road grasses are removed okay and there the ways are seen jo rasta hai ways matlab jo rasta hai wo dikhai deta hai it show uh, appears that uh, people used to go through this you would have seen many a time through the ground raste mein se cycle jati hai road jata hai ya koi pedal chalne ka rasta hota hai so there the grasses are removed wo apne aap ghis ghis ke khatam ho jati hai so it shows that people go through this next is children what does the choice of road signify so too many things two paths toughness of a choice and decision in life so what does the choices of road signify yes so this is also something that i should not answer you uh, i think c option is correct to my mind but you will have to check it okay you will have to check it whether it is correct or toughness of choice and decision of life definitely if there are more than one so there you will find difficulty in making choice okay <clears throat> so here toughness is there 17 is why did the poet choose the second road because it was well built because it was beautiful because it was not used by yes this is because it was not used by many people <coughs> and was appealing to the poet because poet wanted to do something new those who have attended the classes if you remember that he wanted to do something extraordinary so he wanted to use the road which was not trodden means walked by people <coughs> next is children So next question is what does the poet's decision of taking less traveled road signify so means why did not he uh, go through the less traveled road so poet's risk taking habit arrogance he was arrogant okay poet's curiosity he was curious about the new road the poet's negligence here as per the poem this a option is correct because he wanted to do something new so new means risk okay next is oh, those uh, who are having uh, business family background so they will understand this 18th option very well 19th is what do the words long i stood mean in the poem so long means if you are standing somewhere for long time what does it mean it means that you are not able to make your decision and why you are not able to let us see the option poet's dilemma poet was in relaxing mode no this can never be answer poet was enjoying it is also not he was confused poet was thinking yes it is right answer but here poet's dilemma so when you are thinking it is okay but you, you when you are taking very much time and when you think that both the roads are uh, means uh, good you can go through both the roads so there you are in dilemmatic situations means when you are served two things coca cola and uh, sprite well these cold drinks are not good for health but suppose you are offered and you think that uh, i will take coca cola uh, because uh, it is a bit strong and sprite because uh, everybody is taking sprite and it states taste is good so here both the things are favorable so if such conditions come you will fall in a dilemmatic situations okay dharm sankat it is called in hindi and when you means fail to make your choice make your decision so it is called dilemmatic situation so here he was in dilemmatic situation because both the roads were okay but he wanted to do something new and this is 20 what is the dilemma 
of the poet so dilemma of the poet was whether he will be able to come back means uh, go on the next road again or not so let us see the options whether he will be able to come back to the second road or not whether he will be uh, he will get time for himself no successful no whether he will be able to no this a option is the correct option okay this a option is the correct option now the answers okay these are the answers and the wind poem will be discussed further in next class children uh, we shall discuss this poem in next class for today that's all and uh, we shall after having this mcqs we shall revise the chapters one again once again we shall discuss the vignettes once again okay and uh, you should prepare the wind poem next it is a kind of test for you that uh, whatever we are discussing here you must be prepared for that so that you may also answer in this class well chat box are not kept open but you may write down somewhere in your notebook for your record okay so this will happen prepare this wind poem and uh, as well as prepare the next chapter the rain on the roof okay prepare these things let me tell you what else can be prepared by you wait here the lost child yes you can prepare the lost child wind and the rain on the roof these three chapters can be prepared by you for further classes okay and i will try to discuss vignette first and then put the questions okay so if i will discuss vignettes uh, it will give you an introduction and um, brief about the chapter and it will help you in answering the questions so that's all in today's class i hope you would have enjoyed we shall discuss the things in the same way have a nice day thank you very much